here we go. I am gonna, there, there I am, there you are. I'm gonna look at my phone a little bit. So, okay. Ernest Page, welcome. Welcome to the first, therefore inaugural. Some people would say the first inaugural. First they would inaugural. They would be stupid. <laughs> Episode. <laughs> Most people would say yeah, the first inaugural. The first inaugural, actually. debut. <laughs> what you've said is it's the first one three times. Um, but yeah, this is the Feel Good Podcast. Yeah. And it's so okay. overdue, I can't believe, and I am ashamed of how long mm. it's taken. Yeah, it's taken and years, actually. It's taken, I can't yes. believe you went there, but yes. Yeah. I'm so honored to have you as my first guest. I am mm -hmm. a big fan. I've known you since you were yay high. You were like, <laughs> I mean, you were laying <laughs> down. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I, I'm not a professional, so I have, I will become one, but at this point, because I was lazy and almost cancel on this, I, I have started off with a bit oh, so of Also, we're going to be honest about you almost cancelling on me in the last minute. Well, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. So it says that you're a fellow motoring journal, yeah. which is true, for Ernest Page, um, host, mm -hmm. thou hosts, commentator, Stunt driver, this is gonna go Trying on for a long time. Jesus, God. that's actually guys. If you can all that's just actually Dirk phoning me now. Watch something else while Ernie takes his really that's important Dirk phone phoning call. Me. I'm phoning back. Dirk Sorry, is Dirk. not paying rent here, <laughs> but listen to this guy. He's also a stunt driver. X. Just okay. I'll go with it. Go go with it. Okay. Go okay. With it. okay. On his CV, extensive CV, stunt driver, mm. racing driver. Now a bit of a development driver, mm. developing drivers and cars and so on. All that macho shit, that's what our Ernie does. <laughs> and I, I said like shit that. because this is that kind of podcast. We do do naughty language here, otherwise I wouldn't mm. be able to have Ernie on. I wouldn't Please, have to I wouldn't I have myself to, on. I'm on radio all the time. I can't say, we, I can't say a goddamn thing on we, radio. We, we, <laughs> Yeah, we, <laughs> literally. We, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry guys, but <laughs> we're party mouth, yeah. So uh, Ernest and I obviously have a lot in common. We both mm. brown. Might have noticed. What? We both motoring <laughs> journals. Told me no, that. I know, I know. I just I know. thought it was a really good tan. No, no, I wish I had that. Uh, no one said that about me. No one's ever said that about me. It's a problem. When you grow up on the flats and people call you whitey. Buddha. And then when you got into the wild and then white people tell you, <laughs> your feet are so white. And you're like, <laughs> I, I'm never winning. Yeah. I'm never winning. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got very different. We both do the same job on the mm. surface, but obviously we've both got very different paths to getting where we are today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of the people that know me and, and follow me will obviously know you and follow you. So, mm. you know, bonus guys, we're doubling up here today. Um, I thought this is, this is very, also, we also have a very similar sense of humor. Let's be honest. We also have yes. a similar kind of Which interests. is why we like talking to each other. Yeah, constantly. But uh, based on that, I found a very, very clever thing to do. Because we both know we need to talk about cars at some point. Yes. Car. What are you currently driving? <clears throat> As in outside? Y yeah. Um, Amarok. Oh, Amarok. wow. Yeah. What yeah, do you think? Amarok. I thought this was a good opportunity to plug our cars. Yeah, look, um, the, I, I drove the Amarok and the Wildtrack same time. Exactly I did the, the same, same thing. Time. I did the same thing. And you'd be surprised at how different they are, actually. Uh, I was very surprised at how the infotainment system on the Ford is just better. It's mm. easier to use. Mm. The VW is, there's, there's, there's too few buttons on the VW, man. I, you know what I I'm saying? I can't find as well. things. Do you find that when you are evaluating a car or talking about the differences nowadays, it comes yeah. down to things like the infotainment system? Yeah, now the car like, itself is fine. <clears throat> all cars are, you know, predominantly good now. Safe. All of them are. We don't test as much as we nitpick and we discuss little details here and there mm. and so on, but it's not like it's before. Not like the old days. Yeah, the old days, certain cars could fucking kill you. Yeah, 10 braking so tests it would to be make your, sure the brakes work. It would be your job to go, don't buy that car. Yeah. Why? It'll fucking yeah. kill you. Yeah. Whereas Most now it's like, good. Most of the modern Android cars Auto, good. you like the way it looks? Yeah. 5.1 liters for, 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 me, for me, the infotainment system must be easy to use, man. Yeah. And no. I find the VW one isn't. And then the other difference with the ride and handling, the VW actually, dri actually drives smoother mm. than the Ford I found. I think that's kind of its mandate. When you are a couple of hundred thousand and more, and you're the German equivalent, even though yeah, they're both yeah, yeah, built yeah. in Pretoria, <laughs> when you are the German brand, you are meant to be more comfortable more and feel, yeah. yeah. And, and I think they yeah. got that right. Yeah. But in every other way, it's pretty much the same car. Mm. I also had them back to back, which was quite a feat. Um, but it really gives us an opportunity to see what the cars are. I had them side by side, like. actually. Okay, well, I had them side by side in the park. No, but you had them back to back. Them. Back, This is back to back, that side by side. I mean, like, this, this, I just had them together in the same place at the same time. 
I did too, the parking lot where I fetched oh, someone. Oh, no, but that doesn't count. Okay, well, I was snow winning with you. Um, but yeah, but, but, but that's interesting. This is where you ask me what I'm driving. Yeah, no, I don't care. Okay. Um, the seat warmers to me, I'm still talking about the car that I'm driving. Fair seat enough. warmers to me are a must. Yes, one of them had it. I think it was the Amarok. Yeah, the, to be the, be the Ford didn't have it. So I'm freezing, even now. <laughs> this has been the coldest winter. I know, and you've got to have seat warmers, man. So my, my wife, you might have met her. She made you a burger just Lovely. now. Lovely. Lovely not burger. Not a tradition. Lovely person. It's not going to be a podcast tradition. You, if you're on here, you're not getting a burger necessarily. Oh God, unless Kelly really likes you. Um, but I've lost my... Oh, she is an ex-car magazine I know. journalist. Alumni. And as opposed to a regular. <laughs> um, and she also, like, needs a seat warmer. Yeah. So love the one car more than the other just because of that, which is not fair. But that's where we are now. Uh, like yeah, but it is an option journals. though, to be fair on that car, no, it is an sure. option. But do, for me, do it? not speak a, a seat warmer uh, over other things mm -mm. makes no sense. Mm -mm. But these cold cat on mornings nowadays, mm -mm. I my need to... My bum needs to be warm. Yeah, my I cannot function. Like that though. Yeah, no, Cosseted. I mean... That's no, a no. word that us journalists like to use, like cosseted. Cosseted, oh. To love a good cosset. <laughs> um, cosset and sampling are words that Jenna's use all the I've, I've moved away from mated. <laughs> oh, nice. That People would be mating <laughs> gearboxes like we're in the cool. wild. It was cool in, in, in Ville Magazine, oh, 1993. No offense to my friends from Ville Magazine. Yeah. But I've substituted with, paired with, which I feel is more refined. Because you get spoken like a you, man who drinks with red wine. Exactly. Um, I did actually have a pairing on Sunday. So. There you go. I, so I believe in pairing. Engines uh, and gearboxes. Yeah, for sure. As opposed to mating them. <laughs> I just feel like. <laughs> or marrying them. Marriage. <laughs> you do you that's do a good that? one. No, no, but that's what I'm going to do now. We need I'm to normalize uh, just the general hookup between uh, okay. it's engine and gearboxes. too much hookup culture in the engine game. No, but I think hook, hooking up is way better than getting married. Too, I'm talking still about drive today. Yeah, 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 yeah. My wife is in the next room. <laughs> Who come call you no. on drive um, Yes. By the way, uh, we Derailed. were playing simulator earlier. That's why I don't, don't have any shoes on. Okay, yeah. No one was worried yeah. about Ernie's socks, but just so you know. Yeah. We were, no, you were. You yes. were playing GT7 on, yes. on, in virtual reality. Virtual on reality, VR2. yeah. What are, you, what are your thoughts? VR is amazing. The, the thing that VR does for me that I don't think you get anywhere else is the elevation changes. When you go down or up a hill, the VR compensates. It's almost like it moves the screen in a way so that you have to look up the hill or you can look down the hill. But on a normal screen, you don't get that, you don't get that. perspective. Um, I agree with you. In fact, it's, it's the thing that kind of gets you, like, especially when you, you know that factor where you lose like hours, where, you, mm. where I'm gonna hop in the sim for 10 minutes. No, you're not. And then, and no, then it's, it's, and then it's your mouth's though. dry. Like, where <laughs> yeah. is everyone? Because now you, 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 yeah. you're so immersed, you don't Full know that people have gone to bed already yeah, yeah. and you're all alone in the yeah. dark. No one yeah. cares. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're on, someone's made a TikTok of you. Yeah. Alone. But, yeah. but basically, it's, it's also that, like the level of immersion, like going down uh, the corkscrew, for example. I've done that in real life, Otis. Oh, I don't man. know. Have I you? Knew well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Into that. It, it, it doesn't matter. We were driving yeah, into the, like a couple of years ago. I mean, it, was it was some, amazing. It was absolutely that car. And then some race car driver took you around. One in the car, one in front of me. But regardless of that, <laughs> it's really not important. But the, the immersion, like just looking up at a yeah. corner. I watched you. I know. I might have some the, cool the, beetle of you. There is a lot of sitting that. Sitting in my lounge, but I'm looking like, like yeah. there, and I'm like, yeah. What are you doing, Ernie? But yeah, that's, yeah. but you can't get with it. You with can't a get that with the screen. And, and I've and played in some really good setups, but as flawed as VR is in some ways, it's for, for immersion, it's the best. Yeah, no, it, it fulfills the brief like yeah. no TV can. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's often criticized for being expensive, but like you mentioned earlier, a really good, large, high frame rate television is 30,000 Rand, and it's still a TV. This, yeah. is, this is one, this is half the price, and it's one step, no, it's several steps closer to the real thing. Like mm -hmm. I felt, you know, on a cold day, if the sun hits you on you, as you're going on a track, you feel like warm on the one side, mm -hmm. like your cheek. I'm I've like, heard that. I've never experienced I've, it, but I've certainly heard it. And and the car that I drove this weekend was similar to one of the cars you, you drove. You said, there. yeah, you drove uh, Craig Harper's little Yeah, one of these Harper beast. sports car things. It was two liter turbocharged, super lightweight. And that was very similar, turbocharged, lightweight I, sports car. And it's like getting into the same thing. You immediately go into that mode, yeah. you know what to expect from the car and stuff. I, I mentioned it to you earlier. So going from, I, I've got basically the cheapest setup 
I've got the cheapest wheel, the cheapest seat, and then <clears throat> the the VR kind of like falls in the gaps. It does. And, and you actually feel that like when you drove that Honda Jazz, <clears throat> so you're cruising around in Honda Jazz, this is amazing. This is way too slow. But then you do one of those fast cars and all of a sudden, all our, our journal shit happens. We're like, I've got more like tension in my forearms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, buddy, <laughs> yeah. 2005 in the hand. Yeah. We can take a lot. But that, the, the Thrustmaster T150's got good basic internals. Mm. So you get that. I think you're missing out maybe on the pedals. But like mm. you say, the once you put that bad boy on. It really compensates. It compensates big time. So you, okay, so we've known each other for a while. We both come up You actually up gave me my first... You gave me my first job. In my but why do you sound like twice. it's a bad thing? Like, oh, both I wish you didn't have that over me. Yeah. I wish you didn't. But you do have it over I, me. I, I do not. And you literally introduced me to people like that. The, the CEO of the other. No. This is Ernest. I gave him his big break in the No, that is not true. I did call you my son once, which is funny because <laughs> exactly. we're the same age. Exactly. But apart from that, almost never. But now I will share yeah. this. And I will, in the, in the comments below, mention yes. Yes. Um, Protégé. Yeah. Uh, so my very first lines. article that I wrote for a magazine was a article on RC drifting, which I did for Urban Racer magazine many years ago, if you recall. Word. Yeah, <laughs> very, it was the first thing I wrote. And I was writing for Kilani at the time for the online website, but I'd never been published at that stage, and that was the first one. And then immediately after that, I got a gig with Speed and Sound. So that clearly- I think you got it after me or something. There was clearly, like a, Yeah, it clearly helped. And I then, probably got you that gig as well. I no, mean, no I don't think so. No. I'm like gentle persuasion. It is all me. And wow, then I want to believe. Sheer skill and pers perseverance. Yeah. And then Top Gear, when you were at, you were at, at Top, Top Car, Car yeah. and then Top Gear needed a driver for the hill climb, and then for some other reason you called me, mm -mm, and I mm -mm. ended up working for Top Gear at the hill climb, which was still, to this day, one of the best launches I've ever been to. Mm. I met Andy there from Speed and Sound magazine, who was now owning, running a business, mm. And then he gave me a job as an intern, and then I became a motoring journalist. So oh, both times, yeah. the old leg up. And, and, and we joke and we tease, but I mean, this is all you, dude. You've really, really done well. I know. You've got, oh, fuck it, it all me. It well, is all me. I mean. It really is. I take full credit, you get none. So, okay. So thank you, but thanks for I'm nothing. editing this. <laughs> 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 but, but seriously, it's great that you, you here and you're doing what you're doing. It, it is tougher. It has been tougher for us um, in the industry getting to where we are now. That's a difficult industry. But I think eh? it is a difficult industry. I'm doing a talk on Thursday to a bunch of kids at the school, and to talk, <laughs> yeah, I know. I quite talking like about the, the dangers of drug you. addiction. But then mm. after that, I'm going to talk to them about <laughs> about becoming a motoring journalist mm. and about the job. And one of the things I'm going to tell them, I don't know if they're going to be fucking ready for this, but one of the things I want to tell them is don't do it. Mm. If unless it's the only thing that you want to do with your life, I don't think you should do it. I think you should try and make money in something else that you're good at mm. and then get all the toys that you want. Because to make money in our industry is super duper difficult. It's incredibly difficult because there's a thousand people that are willing to do it for free. Quite literally. M more now than before. Even. Yes. So if you get, want to do a job as a motoring journalist and only that, that's why I've got a whole bunch of di different interests that all come together end of the month, and then you know, then I can pay thou, this and pay that and pay this. And thou pay. is a hustler, no? I, I art a hustler. Thou I try to be. Hard. I do try to. Hustle uh, but hard. one stays humble. <laughs> only on, on, only on weekends. On that note, <laughs> like, if I look at myself, most of the toys I have, it happened after my my magazine and and so on, and when I started working for myself. And while I'm still in the industry and I review cars, I mostly make my money when I pick up my camera, when yes, I start doing exactly. photography, videography, editing, there's not an exactly. ad. Exactly. Um, but, but you are right, that's 100%. You don't get into this industry because you think you're gonna get rich. You're gonna live a rich, a rich lifestyle. You're gonna travel, you're gonna get soda streams for gifts. Um, Let's just talk about that quickly. A normal, typical <clears throat> week in the life or month in the life of a motoring journalist is wake up, fly to some exotic location somewhere, drive some super cool car, or new car, or the mm, newest it's car. It's a new car, yeah. It's a new car. Sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. But the hotel that you stay at is minimum four to five stars. Yeah. Minimum four star, usually four or five stars. Um, you get gifts, food, travel, like all these things that seem like it's a good lifestyle, and it is. 
But my thing is, it's not mine. It's not real. It's not real. It's a fantasy life and yeah. it's cool. And I think for five years or so, it's flipping liquor. I've had my five years and it's, it's been amazing. It's easy to get stuck in, in this industry because you are spoiled. You yes. are super duper spoiled. Yes. But you don't necessarily have a lot of money in your bank, but you are spoiled. Exactly. And from the outside, like you get no sympathy if you have a cock day. No one wants to your cock Like even now, yeah. somebody's looking at this and goes, oh, whatever, bro. You just yeah. got a million rand Amarok parked outside, full tank of fuel, blah, 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 right? But the thing is, it's not mine. And I made a commitment two years ago that, okay, cool, I-5, 11-year-old me has yeah. achieved, literally, I wanted to be a stuntman growing up, I ch checked it off the list. I wanted to be a race car driver, I did a little bit of that. And then I wanted to be a military journalist, and that's off the list now. But now, I want to have my own, I want to have yeah. my own car. You, you can swear, you can say shit. My, yeah, you want, I want to have my Why are you beeping my, out? <laughs> <laughs> I, want my, I want my own shit. And I've now got my own race car, and I've got another project car, and I'm just getting odds and ends stuff together that's, mm -hmm. that's mine, that I can call my own and not have to give it back into the week. And obviously, we're grateful for what we have. Big we're time. We're grateful for everything that we have. But my advice to young Thundercats coming up in the game is get your own shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Get your own shit as soon as possible, and then nobody can take it away from you. And then, once you've got your own shit, then you can do this as a, as a side hustle. Mm -hmm. You can buy your way into this industry. Oh, yeah. You could buy your way into this industry. There's a blueprint for that if you really wanted to. Mm. You could also work your ass off, and there are guys that, there's a 2023 way of doing it, there's a 2015 way of doing it. You know what I mean? There's a different, there's a 2010, 20, 2005 way of doing Big it. Big time. I don't know the 2023 way to do it as well as mm. someone like Kumbi or whatever. But the point is, they all get in and then realize, oh shit, I need to monetize this somehow. Mm. And then it, that's when the difficult work begins. Because you're living the life, but to monetize it is super difficult. So my advice to young guys is always just make, find a way to make money. Oh, That's yeah. the main thing. In, not, and not the quick way. Not the uh, invest with Forex and get 7% return a week. Not Bitcoin. the quick way. Yeah, yeah not no. the Bitcoin way. Go the long, hard way. Play the long game and make real money. And then get property or whatever the case may be. And then you can get as many toys as you want. I like how you've used this podcast as a rehearsal for your little thing you're doing with the kids. Yes, later thank in the you. Week. That's brilliant. I have this I, would, you like, would you like to copy of that? Wait, can we take it again? Wait, can we just cut there? Would you like again. me to sound a little bit more <laughs> yeah. infused? Sound like more like um, an 11 year old. Yeah. Um, no, uh, well said. I, I almost think that the motivation <sighs> behind getting this job has also changed quite a bit. Let's say 2010, you were watching you know, um, know, option videos and, uh, and video Top option, Gear yeah. and, 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 and Fifth Gear and so on, and you, you wanted to contribute. You, you, you thought you were the shit when it comes to driving and had an opinion you wanted to share. It. Then you got to the point That's where you literally had me. Yeah, and then you got to a, a blank page and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show everyone else that despite my background or whatever, I'm going to be the best. Yeah. Whether or not you become the best, the fact that you're trying, whereas opposed to now, so it might be a, a controversial take, but I am dealing with people that are writing and contributing and so on. And I would say there's definitely not the same enthusiasm for, for crafting like no, back then. We've had this conversation I, before. I know, but I'm not just talking and you, about writing. This is the one, the one conversation. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you came to me afterwards and you literally cried like a bitch and told me how wrong mm. you were. <laughs> None of when that I happened. None of you, that happened. When I told you that no one gives a shit about your crafted article anymore. So, Nobody cares about your crafted article because I can pay a teenager. So I can pay a teenager. No, AI. AI. I can pay chat GPT zero money to write a better article than most of these guys. And I feel like I'm being submitted chat GPT <laughs> stuff sometimes. If I've got a spare... You, you submit the chat GPT I, I think I'm getting some... You're not allowed to do while. that if you're writing articles no, I, and stuff. So, like, I have a rule, like, if it's your business and your site, then you want to full interest, do what you yeah, want. Yeah, that's fine. But if yeah. someone's paying you to write a story and you chat GPT that stuff, that's problematic. So I, would, I wouldn't sell that on. But I have had to spend less time just asking the robot to write my story as opposed to fixing someone else's story. Can you ask the robot to write the story in, the, in your style? Have you tried that yet? I have. And? It's not as good as me. <laughs> so I'll toot it his own. It doesn't craft enough. I'll toot, I'll toot his own if he's not going to do it. <laughs> because I think Calvin's one of the best writers in the industry. Okay, has been, always has been. This is what I'm paying for. But. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
But the, the thing is to find someone, and you said it yourself, you make money when you pick up a camera, to find someone that's willing to pay you for the difference in your craft. Here's your crafted article. 100%. Right? Here's my regular article. It takes me like two, three days to pump out this thing because I'm just, oh. Okay, but your regular is better than what, what's out there, believe me. So, and then you get the what's out there that costs a certain amount, 50 cents a word or whatever the case may be. Uh, one rand a word or whatever. Free. Free. Versus, no one wants to pay four rand 50 a word anymore. I'm not that expensive, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. but the no, but you are, you are right. I, so where does one that crafts go? Someone like Patty that's got that bespoke magazine. I think there's a place for that. It's cool. It's just you can't monetize it. I think they're scripting the best videos we watch. I think there's oh, still wow. there's still okay. space for that. So that's what I mean. I Is mean this by scripted? Crafting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. So so I don't always mean when I say crafting. I mean like the written word. I don't have. I don't like that with W. No, capital W and... The written word, yeah. the R. R-I-T-T. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> R-I-T-T-E-N. Is it? Are you a writer with an R? <laughs> R-I-T-E-R. That's how when I'm spelling writer. When you're done with that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't... I, look, I, I, it would be very um, disingenuous of me to say that the written word is this, but my job is actually making videos. Yes. But it is, it is storytelling. Sorry, so sorry, if, yeah. we, if we discard the, um, the actual writing aspect, the sitting in Word or Doc or whatever, but the actual telling of stories, that's kind of what's been diluted and is now computer generated. Yeah, but so the, the telling of this is what I was talking you, to my friend today. Don't forget that you're a pro and you mustn't compare what you do necessarily with me and going, no, but you're the pro at whatever. We're mm. on the same level. Mm. We just have different fields Primarily. Yeah, yeah. So you you can't even go down low enough to actually know what's going on down there. There's a level <laughs> many times beneath the swamp. both the swamp. of us. No offense, but there are, but it comes for the drive. Like if you're not driven to do your best work in whatever field you're doing, mm. frankly, you are working for free or replaceable by AI. Replaceable. Definitely replaceable. <clears throat> We're all replaceable. Days. Yeah. But you know I, I do think the video editing is gonna be a bit more difficult to replace because of the storytelling element and the, the fact that there's certain things that the computer can't do, but my friend mm. explained to me that you can certainly speed up the process. Oh yeah. I, mean, I would have thought programming wouldn't, would be in jeopardy now, because eh? that was the go-to industry if you wanted to make money, become a programmer. I'm, I'm not yet scared of it, but sometimes I encounter an industry parallel to mine, like so I'm working with so many people in different fields and I go, shit man, you are completely replaceable now. But yeah, I want, yeah. don't Let's say that loud. Fuck up your day. What did you say? What did yeah, you, yeah, what yeah, did yeah. you just say that? But, but it's, it, we are there. Shit, man, there's like yeah, there's, four different topics I want to some talk people, about. There's some people that's definitely going to get a rude awakening. So the idea now, I think, is for many of us to go, am I replaceable? Ask the question in an intelligent way to try and figure out. Yeah, ask ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT, <laughs> am I replaceable? Or are you going to replace me anytime soon? If you soon? ask ChatGPT, is, am I replaceable in my job? And it replies, I'm coming for you, bitch. Then... Yeah, you're probably in trouble. Yeah, then you're probably in big trouble. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to another. So we still haven't subject. asked you what you drive, but I don't really care because I saw, I'd, I'd really I saw it outside. It's a, it's a Kia Sportage. It's a great car. But anyway, you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't. Know, I'm not here to talk about Kia Sportages. I'm here to talk about adventure. Back to GT7, sort of. So what I meant about it's coming from the same kind of place: modified cars, tuner mm. cars, garage cars, and the concept of a, a petal head. Mm. So I think. Five years ago, so that's my end. Now I'm just checking the lighting oh. in here. It's amazing, bro. It's Gucci. It's, it's okay, really okay. impressive. Thank you. It's where I clean my bikes most. People are going to be upset that I'm interrupting all the time. No, it's fine. But I, let's I, talk about lights then instead. Okay. I'm, not, okay, I'm no. joking. I'm joking, people. Neon or... Uh, no, no, no. LED. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble with the listeners. There's at least four people that I might know, be upset. I know. Out of ten. Kelly. I'm, hi, I'm mom. Hi, <laughs> 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 Ernest. It's friends as well. <laughs> Um, wow, I'm completely derailed. But it's it's been fascinating thus far. Yeah. GT7, GT7, our background modified cars, mm. and the concept of a petal head. Yes. So five years ago, I think this was a conversation worth having. Today, I think it's almost a no-brainer in the sense that we've moved on. There used to be an argument for you're not a real petal head if you... Skitting games. Yeah, if you're playing every Gran Turismo game, you got the wheel set up, you got everything else. I don't know. Uh, I, I think, yeah, nowadays it's a no-brainer. Yeah. But me growing up, that's how I kind of 
got my kicks was playing yeah. racing games. And I knew that I, the only sport I wanted to do was race cars. So the only way to do that on the cheap was go go-karting or play GT3 at the time or whatever. That's GT2. kind of why I think this is an old topic. Like, I yeah. think we've been talking about it for five years. But five years ago, you know, I think there were just more guys with dirty hands, um, spanners in their pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. You needed to tink on cars and so on. If my 13 is gone when you leave here... Um, but yeah, generally, there are two types. There have been two avenues. But I think now it's so expected. Like, if you think you're on your son's 106 in the garage, but you don't play games, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Mm. Um, do you ever feel, you're, you're a very exceptional case, because you fucking have 95 in your blood. But like, do you ever feel after a long week of driving cars and shooting cars and talking about cars, the last thing you want to do is put on a fucking VR sim and go drive a car? Yeah, yeah. You do no, feel definitely, like that. Definitely. It's not just gynecologists. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I think yeah, gynecologists like work, me. If I have to see <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more fucking love here. <laughs> um, okay, it's probably what to say. But yeah. Yeah, well, let's segue back to cars. Um, yeah, sometimes. The other day we had... Uh, uh, Alto Rally, Time Attack on the Wednesday, Rally Cross on the next week, and then I don't have a sim at home at the moment, thankfully. But I do go to visit my friend Peter Root and some of these us and practice there, or go to Kenilworth Cart and go practice there. And I need some time off from that. But the thing about the racing is, it's the preparation for the racing that's tiring. Mm. It's the work, and that's the most rewarding part. And that's what I'm, you talk about tinkering. That to me is one of my favorite things to do in my car now, is tink on my car and make sure everything's right. But that's kind of changed. I mean, that never used to that be That never used space. to be, no, nah, not at all. But the process of going racing is what's difficult. So getting the car prepped and ready to go racing. The racing itself is just half a day or, or a day. Mm, of course. But it's that week running up to where you're just like, I need time off. But that's why I do stuff like bird watching, for example, which is completely that I know. Because it's I thought, super I thought weird. All you, I thought all you did was like cause, 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 yeah. cause, cause. And I know yeah. you keep talking about doing other things. Yes. Bird watching. Do you know but, who also bird watchers? Who? Watches birds? Who? The MD of Ford. VW, Ford as South well. Africa, uh, Neil. Neil Hill. No ways. Big time. VW as well. Big time. Uh, it's like a rich person thing, I think. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> who would VW? Um, Martina. Also, oh, not, I don't know how avid she is, but I think she's into it. Um, Did you say avid? Yeah, yeah. Was that a pun? No. Like avid? It, it, okay, it's okay. cool though. I'm glad I said it. But um, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, it's a different, completely different ah, thing. It. That's what not I cause. Because I realized you have, really to, cause. you have to have a not cause thing. You have to have a not thing. That's not the thing that you're super into because we do yeah. this. I'm all in on the car thing, bro. Everywhere I go, I'm doing car stuff. Every single job that I do has got something to do with cars. Mm. So at some stage of the day, I need to, when I get home, I'm watching car videos. I'm watching my own in-car videos. I'm talking to my driving yeah. coach. No, dude. At I some point, you. I just want to go for a walk and go look at the birds. That so, sounds amazing. Yeah. I have, my bird is obviously my bicycle. Yeah, 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 also, yeah. You've got the bicycle, but it's also got wheels. Well, then I also play video games, but not car games. I swing a great big sword often. What? I explore. I ride a horse in so you play, games. So you, you play like nerd games. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm not a nerd. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't understand. That is deeply <laughs> I do real, offensive. I do real sports. I'm a fucking <laughs> wizard, dude. See what I'm I mean? a fucking wizard. See what I mean? But, but okay. It spells uh, and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> but okay, fine. You go watch a fucking bird, you big <laughs> uncle man. It's cool that you think you can look down on anybody <laughs> from your binoculars. <laughs> from my nest, my ivory Pheasant. nest. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is my thing. I do, but I do a lot, dude. Like, yeah? Way more. Like, I think what, people... what's, the, what's, the, I'm gonna, what's the name of the game that I don't care about? Oh my that God. you play? I've got so many. You would give no World of Warcraft. Fun. World of, War no, World of Warcraft. No, in the last year, I've beaten about 20 games, like full-on campaign But games. that's kind of your thing, though, to beat the game, isn't it? Gotta finish those. Yeah, you gotta kill finish. every you gotta fucking... Gotta, you gotta, gotta clock, clock it. it. I've you gotta clock so many it. games. I'm you gotta see the credits like, running dude, at the end, at the end of it. I even, like, repeat clock the same game once mm. in a while. No, no, it's quite bad or good. But so you came into gaming, not from the car side, but just no, from the gaming side. Game Cop for life. Game Cop for life. On the Cape Flats. Why don't you get a, uh, uh, what's the name, Street Fighter set up here, man? Oh, I'm too good. I'm allowed to. 
So two of my best performances, well, I, one performed. Were you the guy at the shop that you used to say, Say, with the challenge you. Were you that No, guy? come challenge you. Get, get on your board. <laughs> were you, no. Were you, did you like when I, when I want to push no. the button there, then you just hit my No, I'm already in the game. <laughs> I, so, do you know, my, what is my best story? My best car story? Something to do with your father's 4100. No. My best car story, but that's sweet, is my one night in Tokyo with Dino from Speed oh, Hunters. yes. Yes, in I his R34 that. I remember that. Tokyo parking lot, 40 Akosukas, basically the best night that you could hope for as a car guy. But, yeah. the, but I, but I Airbnb'd myself. Uh -huh. And the next morning, the guy that, my host basically, he said, where do you want to go? He was obligated to take me wherever. So mm -hmm. I said, take me to an arcade. I want to play Street Fighter the next wow. morning in Tokyo. And he went with me, took me to this arcade, and we sat down. And I fucked him up 11 nil. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. I've been I've actual Japanese. Beaten person. a Japanese man. <laughs> your East Street Fighter. I'm going home. I'm complete now. I'm going back to the But Africa. you can't go back to that shopping grassy park and just whoop everybody's <clears throat> ass again. I could, but it would be in Aslan. Oh, yeah. Um, but also, I don't feel like getting jacked. Yeah. Second best performance, I did mention there was two, was my stag night, second one, second wedding. Mm -hmm. um, where I was apparently, I heard the next day from Owen and Mark, I was completely shit-faced. Mm. But apparently I dominated everybody all night. <laughs> Did you have one of the consoles there? I, this is how shit-faced I was. I cannot remember. I know we played Street Fighter 2. Somehow. A, Champion Edition. I know I, I chose Guile. It's got to be, you played Guile? I used to be a Ken player, obviously. Yeah, of course. But then I shifted to Guile because I realized that I could do my sonic boom way quicker than you could do a Hadouken. Oh, wow. When I made that switch, it, it was, was honestly, it. it's like front wheel drive versus rear drive. <laughs> it's a complete shift. Yes. I got my ass nobody, out Nobody plays Kyle. I mean, that's, other than John Cliff and Dam in the movie. But that's why I'm a dark horse. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what's coming. You don't know when that, that kick, kick the is chin. the kick. There yeah. we go. That's it. The you kick. see? Yeah. And but that's, but Kyle, was, Kyle was good in the game, but uh, it was just... Difficult. Nobody ever played him. And then I remember when the movie came out, it's like, what the fuck? Why, why is he is, the main guy? Why is he the main why guy? Why is it Ryu? Ken, Ken or Ryu? Yes. Look, Hollywood doesn't and know then, what the fuck who, They didn't even introduce uh, uh, Shang Long. None of that no, stuff in the movie. No, was, I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity then. I feel like the whole movie exists now as like a, a meme mm. for us, for our generation. Yeah. Um, About how to get it, it wrong. But I, I do. It's a guilty pleasure, as is the you original. The, but... The, I only watch movies where I get to see um, Jean-Claude Van Damme do that dance. You know that dance where he... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can we please yeah, show yeah, yeah. the clip? Yeah, when clips, you edit this video? clips over here. <laughs> no, I love that. You know, where he's like in a bar you know and all the... Everyone, everyone that's an extra <laughs> has to go... Yeah, there's a, there's a guy that does reviews of Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and every time he reviews a movie... He acts as if that scene is part of the movie that he's reviewing. And then he cuts Puts to an amazing Jean-Claude Van Damme dancing scene. And it's the same. <laughs> it's the same one every time. It's the same one every single time. Memes. Memes, yeah. They were born in the 90s. We just didn't have a name for them yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you ever watched Ranton? What? It's Ranton. A, Ranton. It's a Chinese dude. Uh, but he lives in Germany. Uh? He has the most twisted sense of humor. And he's... He was a Shaolin monk. I think he did wow. it for a, for a little while. But he's, he's a potty mouth. He's probably a really shitty person, but he's hilarious. And that's what, is, that's what counts. But he reviews like Steven Seagal movies and, mm. just, and Van Damme movies and talks about like, this is bullshit, that is bullshit. <laughs> but he also reviews uh, video games. But you don't Steven Seagal's those. got a bit of a bad rap. He's got days. the worst rap. He's got the worst rap. I know at one point he was a lethal Steve weapon, a but... Steven Seagal, around the time of Casey Ryback, when he was mm, Casey mm, Ryback, mm, 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 mm. he was the best. Anybody that doesn't know who Casey Ryback mm, is, mm, mm, I mean, he, a, a pleb. He was, he, yeah, Casey Ryback was an undercover, was a special forces guy that if he was on a train and you he was hard to kill, he was hard to kill. He was very hard if to kill. If he was on a train and you kidnapped his daughter, mm. your ass is grass. End of that. Mm -mm. End of the your story. ass would be under siege. Under siege. Mm. That was the movie. Mm. Under siege one and two. Under siege one was on the sh on the. The, the, the train, I think, or was it under siege two? One was on a boat, one was on a train. And he was uh, Casey Ryback was a chef that yes. used to be a special forces well, that was guy. The train. That was the train. Yeah. No, that was the ship. Yeah, but he was a chef either way. It's speed. 
Speed fucked me up because the one was on a bus, then I was on a ship. Mm. And then like... But so, that was so Keanu, was, though. I know, but, but it fucked me up because now we're moving from one form of transport to another. Mm. It pisses me off like you have mm. no idea. Like, mm. But that's cool what sequels that. are. They couldn't make it the same, though. No, I know, but like... But just, what are the chances of the same thing happening to the same person? That's what gets me. With a different mode of transport. That's what gets yeah. me. Yeah, that's, that's lazy He's writing. He's got a... a, a Predetermined pattern, like he, this is the guy that goes on trains. Now yeah. he's on a boat. <laughs> now he's on a boat. <laughs> I, I, I call bullshit. Still kicking ass. Now I call so bullshit. Let's, let's talk about movies because you're quite the movie buff. I, aren't you? I do love movies so much. So, so much. We actually connected on a TV show the other day. Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. But well, we connect my, on every One of my favorites. We actually also connected on True Lies. Yes, which is a good movie. He goes, you show, you show me a meme and go, do you know this? And I'm like, dude. Dude, it's literally what we watch. Are you inserting things words. in this video, by the way? Now, because you did it earlier okay, when you said so the, you the well dance. Because I, I, there was a, a Jim Carter competition, shit. which I, which I went on to win, and then. Uh, gee, I wonder, <laughs> gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I went on to win, and then in uh, people were, what, you know, complimenting me, throwing me flowers as. But I was do. going. He does the shit for a living. So, Don't and, and, and then, him. but and, and then I did a, a modest brag. I did a modest brag. Yeah, and, then, no. <laughs> and then I used that line from that movie. I really can't take credit. Well, why not? It's the training. It shapes you into a lethal instrument. You react in a microsecond without thinking. Which me and my friends have been quoting it is for a years. It is a for years. I go, can't take all it. the credit. Go for it. A, I can't take all the credit. It's the training. It shapes me into a lethal weapon. React in a microsecond, it is, bro. It is. And you did. You did. Thank you. Thank you. We, we have fun here. Yeah. We do have fun here. Yeah. But other, other movies? Uh, there's, there's too many. What is your... So obviously there's no such thing as a favorite movie, but sometimes when someone catches you with, what's your favorite movie, fiction. where do you go? Pulp Fiction? Yeah. I think it's something I enjoy to watch because there's so many quotable quotes. Man. So, so Pulp Fiction is one of my movies that depending on the day and my mood and just like... Yeah. like I, I wouldn't necessarily watch it again over and over, but I just there's just so many scenes in there that I, are recognizable and quotable and fun. Some of the best movies I can't watch over and over. Oh, like, wow. It just like lives there in my steam, and I'm like, God. Like never ending story. I haven't seen that since I was a child. Still one of my but favorites. But it's also though. the trauma that might be yeah, preventing that dog you. Dying. Didn't they kill that dog? So we don't talk the about horse. these things. We, no, that's something else. <laughs> Some, the horse Do you was just the know the movies sand. where people. The horse was in the That's a different sand. movie. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, right now. okay, okay. But um, yeah, so, so Pulp Fiction is one of mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm also a fan of Terminator 2. I love that movie. I think it's the whole Terminator part. I don't know. I was I never that Terminator. into Terminator. Eh? I was a big fan. I was never that, that into Terminator. Matrix? Of course. Okay, just Matrix checking. 1 is probably the best one. I want to go. They only made one Matrix movie. Yeah. Look, the, we needed to get the closure with the 2 and the 3. But the, the 1, I remember watching the Matrix for the first time and going, holy shit, this is the best thing I've yeah, ever seen. But it ends with him flying away. I'm like, I'm done. I'm, I'm cool good. with that. I'm good. I think they could have ended it there, but... You know these guys, there's Hollywood guys. No, I know. They've got to make a sequel. Cinema right now is probably the worst it's been in, in a very long time. Just but it does feel of... like it might be coming right, eh? Why? In the sense that people are realizing that we don't just want messaging all the time. We want to just have fun from time to time and go to the movies and watch some Scorps Kids and Donna. And maybe... I struggle. Yeah. I and, struggle and with all just the Maybe messaging. just give us Tropic Thunder again. We can know? never get Tropic Thunder we'll never get, again. Tropic Thunder's gone, bro. We can never get Tropic it's Thunder gone. again. I'm not gonna, like, this is a whole podcast on its own, but we are at a time now where you, there's so much you can't do and say, and mm. you can't, you can't it's hide. It's committee behind. as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, the committee thing is, is, is the worst thing. I still believe, you know, that crafting, crafting a story mm. and all of that shit. I do, I do still feel like one person will tell a better story than eight young people getting paid 50 cents a word. To produce mm. something that's safe, that hits all these markers, that covers these agendas, and so on, and then you end up with a movie that it's like, I I don't I don't know who that was for. Mm. Whereas you could make a bad movie that's your own, or you could make a movie that's your own, and people don't like it, and maybe three people do. You're gonna celebrate the fact that three people got it and they mm. love it, and that. But it's everything needs to be monetized, though. That's the problem. I know. So if you make something, there has to be a certain amount of money that comes back from that something. So it has to appeal to a broader audience. It's, it's I, a modern audience, all that bullshit. 
Whereas the, the, the story for the sake of a story is not often the case anymore. Even with TV shows, the fact that the reason I like, one of the reasons I like Ted Lasso so much is because there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Yeah. There's only three parts. First season, second season, third no, that's, season. That's rare. That's rare. Right. And now everybody wants to make season four, season five, season six because the money's there. Yeah. No, I'm a big so fan of So storytelling for me is done. beginning, middle, and an end. Done. I, I, try, I actually don't watch a lot of TV at the moment. I don't, I don't get caught into new series unless I know there's an ending. Because otherwise, yeah. you just you got me now for the next eight years, like Lost or, or, or Game Heroes of or, Thrones Game or of something. Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I was, I was invested until it I turned out shit at the end. It's but, like that meme of that, that throwing of a horse. Where like, I saw that one. It's <laughs> beautifully, <laughs> picture over here, but beautifully crafted horse. And then it's like, okay, it's time to go home. <laughs> but a line art. Exactly what they did with that show. Eh? I am, um, we in a weird situation. So we're a family of five, mm. but we've got configuration. So the boys are with us half the time. Mm. So it's just Kelly and I, and then we, we watch Kelly and I shows. Like we just mm. watched Beef. I recommend Beef. Mm. Beef is Ali Wong and Oh, I Steven saw that. Yoon. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about this. It starts with I this. Saw it, I saw it. Incident. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, do you know what it's about? No, I don't care. Oh, man. Did you will actually. I saw the trailer. I was like, mm. It's not what you think. It's okay. only 30 minute okay. episodes. That, and like each is episode. it episodes? Yeah. I thought it was a movie. No, it's. it's, it's That's it's, the one where they could get together in a parking area and they're arguing with each other. It's. It's this crazy spiral. It's actually like watching an accident. You can't look away. Okay. And it gets quite intense. But but that's not necessarily the best show I've watched. That is probably Ted Lasso still. But anyway, we've got something we watch, just the two of us. Then we've got something we watch with the kids. two of the boys, because oh, the one wow. works on the weekend. Okay. So we need a show for just the two of us, all five of us, and then one that for us. That's legit our configurations, isn't it? Yeah, no, full on configurations. Yeah. Um, and you would never, like, so we won't always watch things we want to watch because now we've got to like compromise. Okay, today yeah, we're watching yeah. Sweet yeah, Tooth, yeah. for example. Sweet Tooth. Just, it's, just go with it. But anyway, so I'm still, I can't help myself. I'm still watching as much shows as I always used to. Yeah. But you are very much aware of like that design by committee aspect of it. Yes. And it, exactly. it, it sucks. And I find myself watching old stuff more than ever. Yes. Like Two Lies. Yes. I'm going to watch... Jacob's Ladder soon. I recently watched Vampire's Kiss, which is a Nicolas Cage movie from 1989. He's in a vampire movie now, isn't he? He is, yeah. as, as a Dracula type. But yeah. this is where he thinks he's become a familiar. This is almost, oh, this is almost a movie yes, review Oh, yes, I now. remember this one. Holy cow. So he, he's convinced that, that he's he, becoming a yes. vampire. I think you told me about this I the other did, day. Because yeah, it was did, fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah. And he buys like these plastic vampire Yes, tea, yes, 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 yes. And he legit... Drinks a woman's blood in a nightclub and so on, but he's actually having a nervous breakdown the whole time. Oh, it is so hilarious. It's actually sad at we, the same time. Is it? Is it sad? I laughed a <laughs> lot. I'm a okay, bad person. Okay, maybe it's not that sad. No, I think it might have meant to be sad, but I laughed my ass off. Okay. And so did the boys. Nice. So that's the other configuration. The final configuration, Kelly's away. Uh, and it's just the boys. Nah, nah, now, we, now we're watching some random shit yeah. that she. Oh, we're would watching just, things from like the nineties with sex scenes. In it's it. it's it's more than that. It's just weird. It's often Nicholas Cage. But, but weird. have you noticed it's that weird. movies from like the old school movies always have sex scenes in it? And it's, always. And it's weird in that every single movie from my childhood had a sex scene. And I remember when my parents were in the room with me and it came on. I was just like, oh, so fuck. awkward. Make an end. <laughs> Make an end. Yeah, I'm like enjoying torture. this too hard. But Excuse the bad. Yeah. You meant much. <laughs> I'm enjoying this but, too much. But there's something that's a little bit, it's more voyeuristic. It's a little bit more embarrassing. Like, we watch modern stuff and then all of a sudden, like, ah, 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 and the boy, it was like, oh, that was awkward. But then you watch the old stuff and it's not as graphic. <laughs> But it's slower. So awkward. You've got that it takes so piano long. tones happening. And, and now your parents are in the room with you, and it's just like, I just want to get to the action. But part. now I'm the, the parent. It's <laughs> weird for me, too. No one cares. But now it's like, we are really lingering on this scene. <laughs> yes. They were that like, was the worst uh, part of watching and movies the movie with my was parents. It was like 90 minutes younger. long. It's not like two and a half hours like today. It was 90 minutes long. Five minutes is a sex scene. Yeah. We are mostly watching a sex scene. We're mostly today. watching a sex scene and then to recover from the sex scene, someone has to crack an open joke. 
Someone has to say something <laughs> to get us out of sex scene. Because there wasn't like a phone you could play with yeah, or yeah, anything you can't, like that. You you, you play. Play. That was the interesting thing. Like now, if you're in an awkward situation, well, you know, you're yeah, just going to... exactly. Podcast isn't going so well. You're just, just going to do this. Yo. And just now Everyone's I can legitimately fine. check on my messages. There we go. No, well done. You know? I did the same. But got a when, you, when you're watching like a movie yeah. with your parents in 1993... And all of a sudden, a sex scene comes on, and now... You, 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 you're trapped. Trapped. <laughs> Everyone's trapped. And if you leave there, firstly, the, everybody's going to check your pants as you leave, number one. Oh that's God. what you're thinking. And number two, they probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, my God. But number three, now you've got to wait, and you, you don't know how long this is going to go on for. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you know what I was better. as a child? It's a, a Cape Flats term. Fuck. Oh, So I okay. didn't know what was going on. I remember being like 11. Thankfully, my, my parents weren't with but us four siblings. So if I'm 11, my oldest brother is like 24. So we we all wow. big. I'm the smallest, but and it's big gaps, eh? Thank you. And we're watching this movie, and I go, "What's a blowjob?" <gasps> oh and no! And was quiet. And then my oh, oldest no. brother answered, but I think he said it's where you talk about sex. <laughs> I mean, you talk. Oh no! What's idle sex? Oh, ah, no. I think it was what's Arnold Six, and I think he says we don't go about oh, six, and no. he just kept quiet. I was like, okay, <laughs> must remember that one. <laughs> There's you no way like around it. There's like no when getting my away from the it. Bitch sent me to the shop to go buy traffic jam. <laughs> I'll never forget that shit. They still laugh about it, and when they talk about it, they laugh about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> they laugh, I think... like evil laugh. And by that time, they sent their baby brother to go get traffic jam. My dad, and like a bitch, I went to go get the traffic my jam. My dad sent my sister to go buy elbow grease. <laughs> it was a, it was the, like, it was like the '80s version of a prank. Yeah, or meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It was the '80s version of a prank. So, so things have clearly changed, but um. Wow, we've barely spoken about cars. Mm. What do you think of, of that specimen over there? What, the 106 diesel? Yeah. It's, it's Look, I've cool. even got the ins manual. It's, it's, so, it's very cool that you've got your son a, a diesel like that. This it's used to be car. like a, a thing of pride back in the mm. day. Like you got the car, but then you also got the ins manual. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember the ins manual, but it's useless nowadays because you got the internet. No, no, obviously, but YouTube. Yeah, you watch it on YouTube. Yeah, but it's also nice that uh, it's just interesting that I would not recommend a car like this. But you have a uh, bunch of cars. Habit of yeah. having, excuse me, weird quirky. No, cars. I know. They are the cars you recommend, and there's the cars you buy for yourself. Mm. Like Kelly again, motoring journalist, buys a Fiat. Fiat Panda. A Fiat Panda. No surprise, assholes. Surprise. No, no assholes. incidents whatsoever. No, I, don't I just watched um, Ron Burgundy last night. You know that's the Panda Watch. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> Panda Watch. <laughs> I always, why is that so funny? Because it, they spoofed previous <laughs> news anchors that used to do that shit, and ironically, man, they did that stuff for oh real. And then in Anchorman, it was ironic, that, and, that and nobody could ever do it again. Ironic. Yeah. But I don't even think we'll get a movie like that again. Nah. And it's, even the second one wasn't that great. No, I it's know. It was pretty good, but it wasn't Well, that good it was good because it was more of the same, and I love everyone in there. Mm. But we know it's like, you know, it's like Austin Powers. Like, you want them to make another one, but you nah. know it's going to be a horror. It's not going to work. But comedy movies <clears> in 2023 is difficult, but I do think the comedy's make going full circle now, and comedians, there are certain comedians that just say what they want to say now. They don't give a shit anymore. Like, you can cancel if you want to cancel. Yeah. That's fine. I, and I, th I think that's important. Look, I, I think I'm mostly a good guy and not mostly. as much. Yeah, mostly a good guy. But even I go, man, we should still be allowed to say things to an extent. And if nothing else, it's an opportunity for you to be offended about something. Yeah, like, and then go and, from And then there. deal with that. Like, yes. You need to be offended. I need to be offended. I need to yeah. be told things I don't want to hear because... Yes. Life's not always going to be, you know, Sunshine it's not, exactly, it's not going to be yeah. your path. We're all sharing this plan together yeah. and we're all getting on each other's Sometimes you're going to hear things you don't want to hear. And I think that's okay. I think you've got to, even if you act negatively, if you go into a WhatsApp group and bitch about it, your family and so on, or you post something, that's cool, that's therapy, that, but we've got to deal with mm. things all the time. So things need to be out there that piss us off. Mm. If we take it away, you know, we're going to be fucking just like these mindless, soulless robots, and there's no fun in that. Yeah, but hopefully it's a, 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 it, it allows the art to still be the art. Because the movie needs to just be what it be. doesn't matter who gets offended Gotta by it. Gotta be what it be. Be what it be. Do you mind if we take a short break? I think we can wrap it up. Okay, cool. Let's have beer. 
Yeah, let's have a go. Uh, I'm make it official. Yeah. Make sure I've covered all my notes. Oh. Uh, what are you going to... I've gotten to the point now where... Okay, I'm wearing contacts now, but if I'm wearing my glasses, I've got to take them off and I'll go... Oh, no. And then I'll put them back now? on again. But then I try to do it when no one's watching. Then my wife watches. Yeah, and then of course. It's like, oh, he's You're doing that now. thing again. It's You're all doing over. doing the thing. Ernest, thank you very much. I'll learn... Oh, sorry. Just are we, are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do this? Yeah, I don't. Even, I don't have like a sign up or anything. But okay. this, this has been real. I wonder how long it's been. It feels like it's been forever. And it feels like it's been forever. Yeah. I gotta say, like, um, it's 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 a, it's something I think we'll all have to get used to and do. Um, the conversations when the camera's not on. I always say the camera does make oh, yeah. a difference. It does change things. Um, so I'd like to do more of these podcasts myself as well and just get used to talking with a camera there. And just saying whatever the fuck we want, yeah. you know? Look, I'm not going to stop now. And I, I want to be in this I'll come again if I'm invited. Not only will he come again. Oh, it's getting so weird. I hate the choice of words you've gone with. Um, but also, <laughs> <laughs> but also the nature of the job. I'm traveling. We are yeah. often on a launch together. I want to be able to take my studio. is literally that big. It's an action camera and a DJI mic. And that can go into my bag. And we are often in four-star hotels. Just spend half an hour and talk about whatever, cars or just shit in general. Um, and if you're not around, I'll pick up someone else. And I encourage everyone to go out and film more, of co more content like this because it's the content that people are consuming. Like it's, a, it's the stuff I listen to and watch. Yeah, it's easy um, to watch, easy to make, easy to listen to. Because um, we're driving all the time. Because you know, like to create a car video is such a lot of work for you. But to be able to sit down and have a conversation like this is so much easier. So this, so thank you for this, uh, for joining us on this first meandering mission. It's gonna get tight. It's mm. gonna get tight because I think we spoke about four or five more topics than I, I meant to. But that's just that's just how the cookie melts in your mouth. Mm. That will not all be the slogan. Your face. All over your face <laughs> and on your hands. This is a car channel. Goodbye. <laughs>